Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Monster Two here. I'm back, and sorry for the wind that's staying in the air. I'm actually outside doing this commentary right now, enjoying the beautiful outdoors, and because it was too loud in my house. So, anyways, this is a survival gameplay, like usual. I'm sorry I haven't been posting any multiplayer gameplays. I may be posting like a search and destroy game where I went pretty decent, but I joined in. I don't want to post it though because it's like three and one. I was going to go perfect, but I died at the last second. But this is just a random like gameplay with one of my new, 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 new players that I'm probably going to play with more. And I'm not going to say he's new, like, oh, he's like a fanboy or something. But he's one of these, like, he's one of my mates from school. And his name is VL Voltex on Xbox, Cog Gaming Inc. 777 on YouTube, or John in real life. So he's a very good player. And he's very good at everything, to tell you the truth. Everything that he does, he's good at. So that's why playing this game with him is actually one of the most greatest things I can do. Because he's really good at it. And you be seeing me playing with like Chicken Wang 32 on like Xbox Live and all. But right now you're probably going to see me more with this dude. Because the fact is, me and him on Zombies or Survival, we're very good. We're a very good team. So, for starters, you could tell this is Hard Hat. And this is a hard difficulty map. It's rigged hard on the difficulty scale. And we made to round 23 on this. And a lot of mistakes are seen by me specifically. He may have made a few mistakes like running without me or stuff. But there's a lot of mistakes I did that you may notice. Like for example, when he goes down, you're going to see me like running after him during a jug round. I did a lot of things wrong in that and I could have done better. But we survived that round so that was a good thing. Anyways. You'll see a lot of gameplays with me and him because we're a very good team. Actually, me and him, I don't know if what the map is called. It's an insane difficulty map. It's the one where it's like you go down, it, you can go underground, and it's like a subway and all that. And it's like a destroyed city. I don't know. I think it's Town Turn or something like that. I'm not for sure. But it's ranked insane. And me and him played it. And if it wasn't for me having to leave because it was Thanksgiving and I had to do prayers with my family. If it wasn't for me leaving him. For a second and me going down and then like bleeding out we probably would have made it to like round 30 because we were like 23 and we were perfect we were just drilling through the enemies and we were just killing everyone we see kill it killing killing and we weren't going down easily and even we did we had self revive or the other teammate was right there we had grenade launcher turrets all rise shield squads and we we're doing perfect we actually didn't go down for like a few rounds perfectly we could have made around 30, 34, easily, but I ended up having to leave to go somewhere. I ended up dying, and he was left by himself. You can see he's dying right now a lot, and it's understandable. For one, he doesn't have final sand. Self-revive. Sorry. Sorry. I, I don't know what I'm saying now. I'm thinking of Call of Duty 4. Um, he has final stand, which is one starter thing. And two, in these difficulty levels, he's not the rank that I am. For example, like right now I'm level 47. In this game I was 44. But on when I was playing I'm 47. And you probably think if you're like a survival expert that I'm going slow. Because I'm 47 now it's been like 2 or 3 weeks. But I don't play that much. And even if I do, I'm not a perfect player. I'm not the relaxing end where I can get to level 50 in less than 3 days. Which he can easily do. But... If you hear that noise in the background, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, this game was just weed him. It was a test run because he he was bored that day. I was bored. My friend Chicken Wang, and if it wasn't for this game, I probably wouldn't be playing that much with him now. But Chicken Wang wasn't online, and we usually play survival. So I was just like, okay, how about me and you play? I invited him to a party. We talked for a little, and then he said, you know what? Why don't we play survival? You're good at it. I'm good at it. Okay. And we turned out molesting it, molesting it very badly. We're we're just going so good. We're doing very good. And right here, I think he goes down. Yeah, he goes down. And this is like, this part was so scary to me because I was about to die so many times. And I almost failed right here. If it wasn't for the fact is I was like jumping and all. 
and being running, he probably would have died here. I should have took a right and went through the tunnel. Because right here, I triggered like two chemical bombs. And I slowed down very badly. I recovered quickly, which that's a good thing. And I got him at the last two seconds, which is pretty, pretty good. Anyways, that actually in that arcade, I don't know what the map is. I can tell you too. But on that, say, like this different map on tense difficulty, insane. That same thing happened. I was about to die. I was at zero seconds, and he revived me at the last second. It was so epic. And he was like being so silent while playing it. And then, like, right when he was revive me, he's like, holy crap. It was just like he was just like having that like uber, uber moment where he needed to be silent so he could think. But he was doing very good. Anyways, my thoughts on survival, it's so screwed up. I don't know. It's just the fact is the enemies are shooting at all, that's a starter yeah but why the heck do they gotta like make it so intense on the insane difficulty and all but I don't care cuz it's funner funner fun it's not better than zombies in any way cuz I still find zombies as my lover <laughs> so creepy um I still find it as like one of the best games modes of all time made by Call of Duty but survival is a close notch to it cuz Yes, it is kind of newbie. You can buy your guns and all that. But it's very fun. I don't know. It's just the enemies get intenser. And it's like the juggernauts and are just like dog rounds. And it's just like they're just like dog rounds where they're like the bosses in that part. Then it's like you got like, well, or monkeys. And then you got like those like little the helicopters, which are like the little like, how can I explain it? Like the ro like not rover, like they're like those little guys who spawn like the moon the astronaut zombie or the for example um the napalm or screamer the helicopters are like that because they're just like those guys who like they're not better than the foot soldier they're better than the foot soldiers actually but compared to like the boss rounds the bosses it's not better because for one the helicopter it always roves in the air and you as long as you're undercover you're good while juggernauts, if they can walk after you, so you're like, if they get in your way, you're screwed, practically. Anyways, um, I'm really loving this game, and I love it a lot. I love just practically, um, survival. I don't like TDM, I like Kill Confirm, that's the, that's one that I like, and the only reason why I like it is because if you kill someone, they drop their, like, their dog tag, and they have to run after it so they can start winning for their team. So it, it actually provides non-camping, so it's pretty fun, because I'm never going to have to have those little camping problems where it's just like someone's camping in the corner or something, because right when they kill me, they have to run out, and if there's a teammate right behind me, he could take them out. It's just, it makes it seem a lot more fair, and then search and destroy, because if I'm playing solo, I don't want it, I don't want to play that, I go with kill confirm, but if I'm like playing with like VL Voltex, for example, and maybe like one of his friends, we I could do that because for a fact is, I'll like invite him to a private chat or I'll just like talk with him while we're playing, and we'll he can just navigate me through the maps and all that, and it's pretty simple and we do pretty good. Actually, we were doing very good. We were raping people on sur not survival crap. I keep having survival in my head. <laughs> um, search and destroy. Anyways, hopefully I'll be putting up a gameplay with him for zombies soon. Maybe us gates around 30 or something, but I'm not for sure because we've been playing survival and I won't be posting a zombie gameplay until I hit level 50 on survival. That's a first because I rank up every day I play. So I may, and I like rank up one or twice depending on how long I play. So I may do like a, play some more zombies in like a day or two after like a week maybe, but don't expect it soon because I'm just trying to finish off ranking off in this game. I don't care about multiplayer. Like, I don't care about ranking up in multiplayer specifically. I'm just cu curious about ranking up in survival. So anyways, this is where the video ends. I fail and I get my teammate killed because he comes after me. And he almost gets me up, but I end up dying. And that's VL Voltex. Check his game um, channel out, Cog Gaming Inc. 777. Alright, peace out, dog.